Hello again. Um, what I would like to do in the next few minutes is to give you a practical example on how the agencies work. And um, I would like to use the development of framework guidelines um, to, to run this example. Framework guidelines have been a main focus of the agency over the last couple of years. So let's see how it works. Um, first of all, we have to scope the framework guidelines. What we mean by scoping a framework guidelines is try to understand which issues will be dealt with um, by the framework guidelines. In the regulations, we have titles, but then we need to fill these titles. So this is the first phase. This is actually before the formal process starts. And this is usually run in uh, the agency's working group, which, as I mentioned, bring together um, experts from national regulatory authorities and agency staff. There is usually a discussion in the board of regulators about the scoping results, and a report is produced. And I submit this report to the commission. The commission, on the basis of this report, will issue an invitation letter to the agency to develop framework guidelines over a period not exceeding six months. That's as much as we can have for developing the framework guidelines. And the invitation of the commission starts the formal process for the development of framework guidelines. The agency wants, is expected, and value very much the consultation of uh, stakeholders. So the first part of the process is to produce a draft framework guidelines which, will, which is then published uh, for consultation. Usually, before it is published, there is an orientation discussion in the board, and I value uh, this discussion very much because the board bring it together expert from national regulatory authorities um, has the best expertise in Europe when it comes to regulatory matters. Also, as I will say in a minute, I need at the end to submit um, the framework guidelines to the board for a formal opinion, so it's very valuable for me to know where the board stands on the issues dealt with um, by the framework guidelines. So, um, all, as a result of the discussion in the board, a consultation document is finalized, it is published for consultation. Consultation should last no less than two months. That's the requirement in the regulation. We usually organize a workshop during this period to illustrate the framework guidelines and also to clarify any issue which may, stakeholders might have. At the end of the consultation period, we look at the submissions from stakeholders. We evaluate them. In fact, we produce an evaluation report, which is then published before the framework guidelines. And on the basis of this assessment and evaluation, we finalize the, we finalize the, the framework guidelines. There is, again, an involvement, an informal uh, involvement of the board, but also a formal involvement of the board, because before I can adopt, as a director, the framework guidelines, they have to receive the favorable opinion of the board of regulators. So uh, the, um, the, the framework guidelines are submitted to the board of regulators for the opinion, and on the basis of that, uh, I adopt and send them to the Commission. The Commission will look at them and on the basis of the framework guidelines they will invite uh, the uh, European Network of Transmission System Operators for electricity or for gas, as the case may be, to develop the network codes. This is a process for the formation of one of the main documents that the agency has been producing over the last two years. The same process applies uh, also when it comes to um, the opinion on the network codes. The agency has to give an opinion, except that there won't be any scoping phase. The period for provi providing the opinion is only three months, so the consultation of stakeholders is usually run in the form of a workshop. Um, the same process also runs for uh, the agency's opinion on the uh, draft regional list of project common interest. This is a new task being assigned to the agency by the recently adopted infrastructure package. For the rest, for other activities in remit or in the infrastructure um, area, uh, the, uh, the involvement of the Board of Regulators is mainly for consultation, but as I mentioned, I value it very much, so they will be involved through orientation discussion also in these other areas. Thank you very much.